Hey, man. New here? I haven't seen you before. I'll join you for a while, if you don't mind. I'm sure you'll need a friend. Get lost. You're not in a good mood today, are you? I better come with you. Tell me, where are we going? Or is it supposed to be a surprise? <laughs> I like surprises. How's things? Not bad. If you can cook well, you have many friends here. <laughs> Would you like some of my rice stew? Thanks. You could do me a favor. What can I do for you? You must be used to good food. I have a new recipe. Meat bug ragu a la snaff with rice and mushrooms. You can have as much as you want, but I still need three meat bugs and some hell mushrooms. Five should be enough. Sounds good. Then go and see you get me the things. The last one I sent just hasn't come back. Must have deserted to the new camp. Where can I find meat bugs? Everywhere where there's garbage laying around. You should be able to find some at the deserted huts near the castle wall. Don't get confused by their ugly looks. Once cooked, they are tasty. Where can I find hell mushrooms? If you leave through the south gate, that's the collapsed tower. You'll see a plane directly in front of you. There's mushrooms growing there. Who was the guy you sent before me? His name was Neck. He was pretty discontented here. I think he's in the new camp now. I sent him to collect mushrooms, but he didn't come back. think I've seen you here before. No wonder. I've only just got here. Then watch out. The outside world is pretty dangerous. You're only safe inside a camp. Hey, man. You 
Pay attention.
I have the things you wanted from me. Good. I just have to add them. Then the stew will be ready. Wait. You told me I could have as much stew sure, as I wanted. But there's nothing left today. Come back tomorrow. Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. I can't teach you anything. You. Your strength has increased a lot. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. Take care. Don't you have any plan of where you want to go? You looking for a quiet place where we can talk for a bit or something? Just arrived, have you? I'm Grim. I haven't been here for long either. I was thrown in with the load before you. What's life Easy like going? here? As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this you have to become camp. a shadow. Therefore, you have to find somebody who supports you, somebody who explains everything to you, and takes responsibility for you. If I was you, I'd try to keep close to Diego. I did it like that. He's quite all right. He'll make you take the test of faith. That's different from everybody. Then there'll be some other smaller tasks from other shadows. If you manage them, you'll be with us. And how far have you got? I've already chests? talked to Dexter and Sly and Fingers. They are some of the most influential shadows here in the camp. Hang on. What was your I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here. Let's talk about something else instead. Is it possible we're walking in circles? I mean, I don't know where you want to go. Let me pass. Hey, you. If you want to get rid of your protection money, you've picked the wrong day. Yeah? Why's that? Because I'm not here. Oh? Where are you then? I'm actually at the castle, sitting by the big campfire, drinking a mug of beer. But keep it to yourself. People don't need to know. Then how come I'm talking to you? Nick's vanished. This district is usually his responsibility. And until he reappears, Thoris has ordered me to guard it. Do you know where next got to? No, and I'm not likely to find out. If anything, the diggers in this district might know something, but diggers don't talk to guards. 
Especially not now they know I hate this filthy work. I bet they're laughing behind my back. That's ever likely to change. Why don't you just collect some more protection money? Nick did his rounds before he disappeared. There's not much left to collect now. It's about Nick. Yeah? No news. Keep me posted. Let me pass. This is real fun. Thanks for taking me with you. We could do that more often. There's loads of more time left today. That's really not my problem. It was obvious. I'd better keep out of it. I want to become a shadow. So? Can you help I me? I wouldn't know how. I'm looking for somebody to teach Why me Why have you come to me? You should have said that before. If you want to join the camp, it's an advantage to be a good fighter or a thief. If the influential shadows in this camp test you, they'll give you tasks you'd better not get caught doing. That's why the way of the thief would be a good start to you. Incidentally, I'm the best thief in the whole of the old camp. What can you teach me? That depends on what you want to know. You wouldn't speak up for depends. me in front of Diego, would you? If you demonstrate that you've learned something as a thief, we could make use of you. Learn a thief's skill. You need to become more skilled in sneaking around, pickpocketing or opening locks. Then you'll have my vote. What can you teach me? That depends. I want to learn how to sneak around. I believe no false modesty, that I'm one of the best thieves they ever chucked into this colony. But when it comes to teaching how to sneak around, Cavalorn is the better man for you. Where can I find Cavalorn? He's hunting out in the wild. You'll find him at the path to the new camp. Westwards of the old camp, there's a wide canyon. In this canyon, there's an old woodcutter's hut. You'll find him there. I've gotten used to you already. We'll have much fun together. I'm sure of that, aren't you? Where do you sleep, anyway? You can come to my place, no problem. put you in here anyway. Do you like animals as well? <laughs> They're not into that one bit. That's why they locked me in here. Hello. Hmm. I haven't seen you before. You are new here, aren't you? Just recently arrived. Have you already decided which camp you want to join? Well, it depends. Each camp has its advantages, I guess. 
Until you've made your decision, you can stay here. A hut just became available. What are the advantages of the old if camp? If you pay protection money to the guards, you can have a laid-back life here. They always interfere if one of the paying diggers is attacked. Besides, you can only get the goods from the outside world cheap here. These things are unaffordable in the other camps. And what if two people fight each then other? The who guards both pay just watch money? until one of them kills the other. Then they do him in. What goods are considered Everything precious here? from the outside world. Bread, cheese, and bacon, and above all, beer and wine. Not the cheap rice schnapps from the new camp, but really good stuff. You always get a good price for weapons, and armor is really expensive. The guards took the old armor off the prison guards after they killed them. You can always recognize them by their armor. They only sell it to other guards. You could never get a hold of one as an outsider. I think I've heard I enough like about the here. old camp. What are the advantages if of the new cool camp? If you're cool about getting your throat cut for a slice of bread, you should go there. No, it's not that bad, but it's different from here. Here, Gomez takes care that things are sort of peaceful. In the new camp, there is no law. The only ones powerful enough to have a say there are the water mages, but they're too busy studying the barrier all day. Why should I join the sect? Well, you better ask somebody from the sect camp. There are always a couple of novices in the camp, and I'm sure they can tell you a lot about the sect. I've never been there myself, but according to everything that's said, they must be really generous. None of the three camps seems to be as much in need of new people as the sect camp. Which the of the hut over I take there with the little canopy is empty. There are some people who constantly try to beat me up. Horrible guys from the new camp. Real cutthroats. The next time I'll tell them that they'll have you to deal with in the future. Then they'll be dead scared. from the new camp will be amazed when they get to know that I have a protector. They'll piss themselves. That'll be fun. <laughs> Normally they'll finish people off quickly, but now they'll think twice. Could you please keep quiet for a minute? Sure. Let's talk. It looks as if you knew what you were doing. Nobody ain't complained yet, but that would be a bad idea anyway. Every idiot here needs a sword, and that is what they get from me. How long does it take you to make one blade? That depends. I'm as fast as a hurricane with simple swords. Of course, only on condition that the price motivates me. A freak like Whistler usually has to wait longer for his toy than other people. Why? Doesn't he pay enough? No, on the contrary. He gave me 150 ore for his last sword. The guy is into ornaments and girly stuff like that, and of course that's not cheap. Hey, you ain't curious at all, are you, pal? Well, Smith, how's business? Why would you want to know? I may have an order for you. Oh, really? And what? I'll think about it. Come back when you really need something, and don't get on my nerves. I'd like to try working here as well. Ah, but don't you think that you can make great blades? 
What do I have to do? Okay, take the steel and hold it into the fire. Then you have to lay the red-hot steel across the anvil. When you're finished, you put the hot blade into the water bucket over there to temper it. The cooled blade finally has to be sharpened on the grindstone. I see. However, you'll need some things for that. I can sell them to you. I'd like to buy some blacksmith equipment. As long as I'm not involved, I'm not listening to all the blathering anymore. That won't happen again. Hang on. Better not go rushing into anything. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. I'd like to- Ah! But what do I have- Okay! The that cooled blade- I see. However- You're very wrong, is I right. not? that happen over and over again? That won't happen again. I'm not listening to all the blathering anymore. Hang on. You know what? I'll do you a favor. I'll put in a good word for you, then perhaps you'll be admitted to the camp. Then we can meet every day. else instead? You shouldn't believe everything. Get lost. You want to be on your own for a while, do you? Uh, I understand. Well, I'll stay in the background. On somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it's going. That, that's ever likely to change. Some people think I'm a complete lunatic. But somebody... to be in it.
totally idiotic. There must be something about that story. You're my best friend here. The others only want to get rid of me all the time. I'm really grateful to you. Maybe the worst shit. He has finished him a fight. Hey, man! You hit me! What was that for? I'll hit you again in a second. I'm into that. You You're a lunatic, man! I don't want to have anything to do with you! Let me pass! I thought this was all of you. Hey, you! Hey, you! Let me pass. What's your job here? I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters, you know. I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp. But business is business. Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. I want to join the camp. Can you help me? I might be able to if you manage to impress me. Some of the best fighters from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. Hey, newcomer. I'm Mordrag. You should remember that name. You can buy any kind of goods from me at a cheap price. Show me your goods. Choose something. Are you really the magician's courier? What if I am? I'd like to have a chance to talk to the magicians. I have to get inside the castle. The magician's couriers bear seals, which allow them entry to the castle. If you were one of us, you could get such a seal. Hey, you! 
I trade in swamp weed and potions from the sect camp. Do you want something? What is swamp weed? New here, are you? You can smoke it. Very relaxing for most of us. Hang on. I want to join the camp. I want to become a shadow. Oh! You're looking for a chance to prove your worth? Good. You can do me a favor. If you do it well, I'll speak up for you in front of Diego. What is it? In the sect camp, there's a man called Kalam. Quite a big shot. One of the gurus of the sect. Kalam is an alchemist. He has the recipe for an effective healing potion. I'd like to buy the recipe off of him. Then, I can produce it myself. But nobody can get near Cologne. And what do you expect me to do? The sect loonies are looking for new people all the time. You're new here. Just pretend you want to be recruited. Cologne is one of the gurus. That means he checks the new candidates. If you get in touch with him, try to get the recipe. Whether you want to pay for it or you don't, I don't care. Okay, I'll see if I can get the thing. People always talk. Where is the sect camp? Leave the camp through the south exit, then head eastwards. You'd better take a map. I got one here for 50 or. The south exit is the collapsed tower, isn't it? Exactly. But keep it to yourself. People don't need to know. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. Same old story every time. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. I'm not listening to all the blathering anymore. Where is this? That's really not my problem. I'm not that won't happen again. The sleeper be with you, stranger. I'm here to guide you onto the right path. And which is the right path? The path of the sleeper. He alone has the power to set us free. The gurus are preparing a great invocation in our camp. They want to get in contact with the sleeper. So far, he's just talked to us in visions. But now, it's time to get in touch with him. We'll need as many supporters as possible for that. By focusing our spiritual power, we'll get through to him. Our camp is some distance away, in the swamp. I can take you there, though, if you want. Who's the sleeper? The sleeper speaks to us through dreams and visions. He has been leading us ever since he first made contact with Iberian five years ago. All the followers of the Brotherhood have renounced the three gods. We pray only to the sleeper for salvation. Salvation from what? From this goddamn place, of course. The sleeper will show us the way to freedom. What did the sleeper tell you? He guided us to the swamp, to the old temple ruins. That's where we built our camp. He gave us independence. None of us need to labor in the mines. He showed us what swamp weed can do. We sell it to the other camps, and in exchange, we get everything we need. And he gave some of us the gift of magic. Of an old and powerful magic, which is different from the one the magicians of the realm use. Tell me about the magic of the sleeper. This gift enables you to control things with the power of your mind. Only the gurus of our brotherhood have been initiated into the secrets of this magic. What would be the benefit of joining you? Maybe you're one of the chosen people who received the gift of magic from the sleeper. Or you might obtain the highest honors and become a Templar. Only the best fighters among us can obtain that position. If the sleeper is with you, you can even combine both. The best of the Templars receive the gift of magic as well. You see, our brotherhood has a lot of possibilities for you. You should be aware of that before you decide on joining any other camp. As long as I'm not hey man, I'm Fisk. I trade goods of all kinds. If you ever need anything, you're in the right place here.
Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. You have to watch what you tell people. Show me your goods. Hi, I'm new here. How's things? Go away. I've been working my ass off in the mines for the last two weeks. And what for? Some sad lumps of ore is all I got. I had to spend most of it on food. I talked to Ball Parvis down there. He told me some interesting things about the sect camp. I think I'd better go there instead of slaving away for Gomez. You don't like it here? Why don't you just go then? Because I'm not quite sure what to expect there. I had a pal here. His name was Melvin. He headed off to the sect camp a week ago. But since then, I haven't heard of him. And as long as I don't get a message from him, I stay here. new face. What do you want? I want to offer you help. You're new here and the new ones always get into trouble. You could save yourself a lot by making a small donation. Just ten ore, man. It ain't much to ask. Here's ten ore, and you'll have to help me if I get into trouble. You can count on me if I'm close by. You'll find me between the Marketplace and the South Gate. The other areas are Fletcher and Bloodwind's affair. Well, how's it going? You can always count on me, kid. Hi, I'm new here. What do you want from me? I want to become one of you. I want to join the camp. Looking for people to support you, eh? If you want me to have a word with Diego about you, you need to do me a favor. What kind of favor do you want? I want one of Fisk's weapons. He's one of the traders at the marketplace. You won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me, but don't tell him about me. I doubt that's ever likely to change. Maybe, but who cares? Why won't he sell the weapon to you anymore? We had a little argument. <laughs> and? And that's all you need to know. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Don't lather so much. Okay, give me the 100 ore nuggets. I'll get the thing. Here you go. Come straight back to me. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. 
I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? Maybe later. I told you bastards not to run through my hut. What's your problem? Leave me alone, man. Everyone's a problem with me. It all started when I built my hut. Don't build your hut close to the ditch, they said. But none of these bastards told me what would happen if I still did it. When I came back from the mine a few days ago, I had a second door. Those pigs, I hate them. I can't tell you how much I hate him. Now everybody runs through my hut. Every idiot. I'm not listening to all this. You have to watch what happens. But keep it to you. New here, are you? I don't know your face. I'm Sly. I have a job on offer for a newcomer. You have a job for me? What is it? One of our guards has disappeared. He's called Neck. He might have gone over to the new camp. You're new here, and you'll get around quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. If you find him, I'll speak up for you in the camp. I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. He's taken over his district since Neck disappeared. Where will I find him? His district is the district of the arena. I'm new here. Who are you? I am Baal Taran of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. Who is the Sleeper? The Sleeper is our Redeemer. He disclosed himself five years ago through Eberian, our master. Since then, we have renounced the three gods. And you should do so as well. The gods just stood by and watched while we were exiled to this prison. But the Sleeper will lead us to freedom. How does your god prove his might? He speaks to us through visions. Whoever hears his voice no longer doubts his might. If you take the weed which grows in the swamp, you will be close to the Sleeper and able to hear him. Some people even see images. I see. What will the way to freedom look like? We are preparing a great invocation of the Sleeper, in which all novices create the contact together. In this invocation, the Sleeper will reveal the path to freedom. What is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper? We're a community of believers in a new faith. Our camp is situated in the east, in the swamp, I've come to preach the words of the Sleeper to strangers like you. Tell me about the Sleeper's teachings. The Sleeper is a powerful being, maybe even more powerful than Enos, the God of Light. He is with us in spirit, but his power is still limited. He has been sleeping for a thousand years, but now the moment of his awakening is near. He has chosen us to be witnesses to his awakening and to spread his word. So listen, all those who join the Sleeper will have immortal souls, but those who are against him will be punished. But the Sleeper is compassionate 
and sends proof of his might to all who doubt him. How do I get to the Brotherhood's camp? I'm busy, but Baal Parvez should be somewhere in this camp as well. He's near the marketplace, on the other side of the castle. I believe he's even got his own hut there. I need to get into the castle. Can you help me? I fear I cannot, brother. The only ones among us who may enter the castle are those who supply the weed to Gomez. We gather swamp weed and sell part of it to the old camp in exchange for goods from the outside world. If you were one of the couriers working for Kor Kalom, you could get into the castle. But for that, you would need to be one of us. What do you want to do in the castle anyway? I want to meet somebody there. Do you? Who? And why don't you just wait until he comes out? He's one of the magicians. Oh, well they never leave the castle. You really will have to get in. What do you want from them anyway? Magic runes? Or potions? That's right. I knew it. What else would a guy like you want with the mages? I can give you some good advice. Forget the mages. They take far too much ore for their stuff. Magic runes and potions are much cheaper in our camp. How are you doing? Well, since I stopped working in the mine, I can't really complain. And where do you get your ore from? I help people who have problems. If you get into trouble with influential people here, I can help you sort the thing out. Could you tell me which of the shadows belongs to the influential people here? You ought to impress the right people, do you? Diego has the most power of all the shadows. He trusts Fingers, Whistler, and Sly. Dexter and Fisk sell their stuff on the market square. They have many customers, even the guards, and that makes them rather influential. And then there's Scatty. He's in charge of the arena and determines who fights and all that. Many people here owe him ore. He's important as well. If I was in trouble, you could help me? How? Well, let's assume you're in trouble with Thoris. You better never get into trouble with him, but then, well, you never know. Thoros can be quite stubborn. When he's pissed off with you once, he'll never talk to you again. And that's a bad thing. As a greenhorn, you depend on him. So you come to see me. I know a lot of people here Thoros listens to. They put in a good word for you, and Thoros is your friend again. Of course, the boys want to see some ore for these kind of favors. Your ore. And I take care that your ore gets to the right people.
Hi, I'm new here. You don't say. Tell me about the outside world. It's been over a month since I heard anything from outside. I'm Kurgo. I fight in the arena. Are you good? At fighting? I haven't been doing it for long, but I've already won a fight. I'd like to challenge you to a fight in the arena. What? But I don't want to fight. Why don't we just have a beer together and talk about the outside world? No, I want to fight. Now. In that case, I'm ready when you are. Let's fight. Are you ready? Follow me.
obvious. That's really not my problem. As long as I'm I found Nick. Good. Have you got any evidence for that? I found this amulet on him. Here you go. It was actually the amulet the whole thing was about. You're a clever guy. You might have had the idea to keep the amulet yourself, but you've made the right decision. If Diego asks me about you, I'll vote in your favor. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple. I have one you'll like. That'll be one hundred. Let's talk about something else instead. Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. Why does that happen over and over again? Fisk wants 110 ore for his sword now. And you want me to give you the 10 ore now? I thought you wanted to have that sword. Here, take it, and now hurry. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever, you do me a favor and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Until then, have a good time. And how's things? There ain't enough room in this camp for the two of us. Pardon me? If it was up to me, you wouldn't last out here for long. Do you know why I'm here? I killed a dozen people in one night. Just like that. <laughs> Get out of the way, man. Are you deaf? Move it! I'll be in a bad mood if you keep fiddling around with that weapon. How's things? New here, are you? You better know that it's no good getting into trouble with the guards. When they want protection money, you better pay. Otherwise, half the camp will be against you. How often have I told you? Hey, you! Are you talking to me? I'm warning you, people like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. If you think... 
Is that a threat? On the contrary, it's an offer of friendship. You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. It's about Neck. Yeah? I think I've found him. What? Where is he? Feeding the rats? Oh, no! Damn it! That means I have to run the show here now. I was hoping he'd be coming back. Now I have a problem. What's the problem? I'm in debt to Scatty, right up to my neck. Now he knows I'm doing Neck's job. He'll be coming around every day. Show me. Yeah. 
And that How can I improve my lockpicking skills? You'd like to know that, wouldn't you? It's not too difficult to begin with. Above all, you have to make sure that your lockpick doesn't break off. If you're a little bit more patient in future, you'll see that you won't need that many lockpicks anymore. You wouldn't speak up for me in front of Diego, would you? Yes. You've learned something which makes you quite useful to us. We can make use of skilled thieves in this camp here. You'll have my vote. 